creep through a swamp to meet the only enemy the Covenant fear. Myself? Unless they mean something else, in which case... That means that the Covenant don't fear me, which is ridiculous, because of course they would. So obviously that can't be the answer. The only other option is that the Covenant and I are not enemies, which is an interesting proposition. I suppose that means we'll be working together. The last transmission from the captain's dropship was from this area. That was over 12 hours ago. Hmm. When you locate Captain Keys, radio in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn that down. It's probably picking up on my microphone. Also, every single pelican in this game has the same designation. Except for this one. But all the others say Echo 419. If you go to the one that's on, uh... Fucking... What is it? Uh, silent Cartographer. Really? You assholes aren't running away. Okay, that's fine. I've got bullets. You know, something that annoys me about this level is that... I believe in the PC version, or the original, or whatever, there's supposed to be shotguns here. Because there's a bunch of shotgun... shells here. But you can't use any of them anymore, because there's no fucking shotguns. There's a fuck ton of assault rifles, but I don't give a shit about that. Whatever. Oh, yeah, and there's a secret marine out in the wastes over here, but I'm not doing that right now. You can also see the ghost assault rifles if you do that, but... Eh. accuracy on this gun has been like downgraded so severely it's infuriating I'm not gonna stop an being angry about that and I do think I'm probably only gonna be doing this mission tonight and then I'll probably pop over to record some stuff on MCC insider because uh, I wanted to do a recording of the um, I wanted to do a recording of some of the Season 8 stuff. Uh, I have checked out, I played one match of the Flood Firefight. I think it's cool. I don't think it really um, works well though. Not just because the AI is kind of terrible and clearly not meant for those engagements. I mean, the Flood AI in Halo 3 already kind of sucks. But, like, even beyond that, like, it just doesn't work. Like, there's not enough variety in the Flood to sustain that kind of, uh, game mode for more than, like, five minutes. And those matches go on to, like, 15 on average. Like, not to mention the weapons in ODST aren't particularly effective. Like, they give you a BR, like, secondary just because they know how annoying it is to fight the Flood with anything other than a precision weapon. And it runs out of ammo almost instantly, and there are no ammo pickups for the VR on the, uh, the fucking level. So, the only time you get more ammo is if one of you dies, and the Flood do a fuck ton of melee damage. And they don't have to reload like normal enemies. Alright, the elevator doesn't move by itself. But it's like... Okay, weird. <clears throat> it's like... I really don't like I get why they do the flood firefight because it's a cool idea but it doesn't work even a little bit like 90% of the time the flood would just stand there and not actually do anything they would just slowly amble towards you when they did move like there were times like um, during the bonus round the flood carriers spawn I just like fucking they didn't move at all I shot one of them with Spartan laser and they all blew up and then the infection forms aren't properly uh, implemented into the fucking game mode. So they would just sit there, 
completely static. Like, you can't even kill them. Your bullets just go through them and hit the ground because they don't, they're not actually in the level or anything. They have no AI at all. It's really stupid. It's like, this game mode barely functions. And it's not particularly fun to play because the enemies aren't engaging. They don't work 90% of the time. Um... And it's like, they're not any more interesting or fun to fight than the actual, like, Covenant in the fucking, uh, firefight mode. So it's like, just fight the Covenant. Like, I'm way more interested in actually, like, doing the fucking, um, like, enhanced firefight mode that they've shown off, which I haven't played yet, which has elites and sentinels and fucking, I think it also has flood in it, which is a, that makes more sense. Like, have the flood spawn on, like, rounds with high level other types of enemies. I'm way more interested in playing that than I am in playing, like, a purely flood-based, uh, firefight mode. Man, I'm getting my ass kicked. I think it's because this level is not great for, um, the kind of shooting gameplay I'm good at. Yeah, I love those pink needler things. It took them a long time to bring those back. I much prefer the, um... Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, I'm gonna just really Stay quick... Back. Stay back. You're not turning them. Yeah, sorry about that, but I need your, um, ammo. So, uh, anyway. Um, what was I saying? <clears throat> I was saying something. Oh yeah, uh, the Needler animation. There used to be another Needler animation where the top of it would open, you'd slot one of those pink crystal things in, and then it would go shink, and the thing would come out the top. It was pretty cool. I like that reload animation a lot more than just gesture your hand vaguely at it, and then the fucking needles come out of the top. Not a huge fan of that version. If I remember correctly, there's a fucking... There's more ammo over here. I don't remember if it's... You know, they toned down the blood a lot in the, uh, remastered version. This is one of my favorite cutscenes in the entire game. I love that baked-in shadow on the Master Chief's visor. Also, this, I feel, has way more personality than the remastered version. I think all of the original cutscenes are better. And not just because the proportions of the Master Chief in the new version are fucking weird as hell and his armor looks gross. Like, this armor is clean, it's simple, it's got a nice texture to it. The remastered armor is so fucking awkward looking, especially with the 2001 animations. Like, this looks fine, it just looks like, you know... It's old. I know how they did that. That was with the debug camera mode. Because that was just a player walking forward. That wasn't, like, hand animated or anything. Um, but yeah. Uh, this looks old, but it holds up a lot better than, like... Because I always thought Halo 1 looked better than Halo 2 in terms of, like, its style. Like, Halo 2 is trying to be more realistic, and I think that actually makes it look older. Halo 1 is a fucking cartoon. And so I think it holds up better. Why do we always have to listen to this old stuff, Sarge? Watch your mouth, son. It's kind of like Half-Life in a way, I guess. Should remind you, Grunts, what we're fighting to protect. Hey, if the Covenant want to wipe out this particular part of my history, that's fine by me. Yeah, better it than us. Especially since the textures upscale really nicely, so they're all crisp, even though the models are like all old. I think that works pretty well. I like how that's go, not go, the go. fucking pelican pilot that is in the crashed, uh, ship. I guess that recording could have just been made by one of those marines. Stay close, Jenkins! Mendoza, move it up! I remember how this part Wait, plays out in the, the book. And his squad, then get your ass inside. Sir. Why would the captain okay, be going to move. this remote 
possibly heavily guarded supply cache in the middle of nowhere. I guess that's what remote means, but, um, super dangerous, out of the way, very little backup, bad cover, bad intel, and just hang out here with nothing but a sidearm. I don't know. Maybe there was an accident. You know, friendly fire or something? What do we have, Sergeant? Looks like a Covenant patrol. Badass elite units. All KIA. Real pretty. Friend of yours? No, we just met. I love that line. That's really solid. Halo's really good at, like, one lines. I love them. Right. Well, let's get this door open. I'll try, sir. But it looks like these Covenant work pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Like, this is so weird, because Keys isn't the kind of person who would just rush forward into this for no fucking reason. Also, that visual artifact thing is weird. It looks like there's a shadow coming off of them. It's almost like, um... Burn spots on a film reel. Actually, this camera quality is kind of shit, given that this is, like... 500 or so years in the future. We had better camera quality in 2001. I know it's so that you can distinguish it as camera footage. And I appreciate having a little play thing at the bottom, too. Like, it's on a VCR or something. Um, and it's just because this is supposed to be a reference to one fucking, um, Apone and the other colonial marines go into the hive and aliens, too. Or aliens. Alien, alien, three. By that logic, shouldn't it be alien, aliens, alien, two? And then, like, the third one? And then resurrection should be alien, three? Or shouldn't that be aliens, two? Or do we want to confuse ourselves even more? I like to pretend resurrection doesn't exist, though. The blood used to be bioluminescent. Sergeant, we're surrounded. God damn it, Jenkins! Fire your weapon! There are too many, Sergeant! Don't even think about it, Marine. Oh, this is loco! Get back here, Marine! That's an order! Jenkins! Poor Jenkins. Horrible things happened to him in the book. Which is a shame, because he's been a part of Sarge's squad since, I believe, Contact Harvest. The fucking book ends with a sex scene. It's so weird. I will take your pistol ammo keys. Thank you. And despite all of that... Also, there's a health pack in there for some reason. I have no idea why. Um... I remember this level freaking the fuck out of me back in 2001, although I'm not entirely certain why. I think it's because they never, ever, ever stop. The assault rifle, however, is actually extremely good at taking care of them, which I find interesting. Because it's it gets less and less good at doing that in every subsequent fucking thing. Although, to be fair, the Flood are really only in two games to any real degree. Because I don't really count... Well, I mean, Halo 3, I guess. Yeah, okay. The Flood are almost the main enemy of Halo 2. They're in, like, nearly every fucking mission in that game. Um, they're in the entire back half of this game. They're in a large portion of... Well, hmm. Because, like, I want to say they're not in a huge amount of Halo 3, but they're in a decent number of levels. The problem is... Those levels are extremely short, because Halo 3 is not a very long game. And the parts of the levels they are in, for the most part, are the shortest parts of the level. Like, for example, um, Floodgate, you can do Floodgate in under five minutes. And I have done Floodgate in under five minutes, because there's an achievement for it, if I remember correctly. Um, I like how most people didn't realize what these things were until, like, way later. 
Yeah, that works. I'll see if I can remember to put up uh, some info from my... Uh, I got that, like, Art of Halo book that, like, covers Halo 1 and Halo 2. And Marathon, for some reason. I was never entirely certain on why. But a large portion of that book is just dedicated to talking about how sick Marathon is. Which, you know, I am all for. Because Marathon is sick. I'm actually super excited for that uh, Destiny Marathon sort of uh, armor pack crossover thing. Um, which is a bit odd, considering how fucking disillusioned with Marathon, or not with Marathon, with uh, Destiny I've been for like the past two years. To the point of, like, I have not even touched my copy of Destiny 2 in, like, at least six months. Probably more. But it's like, man, Destiny kind of really sucks now, huh? Like, Destiny's always had problems for a bajillion different reasons. But they fucking just made me not want to play Destiny 2 even a little bit. It might have something to do with the fact that every single fucking gun I have is now completely worthless. Like, they're fucking terrible now, and that sucks. Because I had a lot of guns that I really, really, really liked, and none of them work now. I forget. Oh, is this the one that works? Weird. I thought this was the broken one. Okay, well, whatever. I'll take it. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot. This is gonna be the elevator that fucking... Yeah, yeah, okay. I like the Flood in Halo 1 a bit more than the Flood in Halo 2. Probably because the Flood in Halo 2 is so fucking bullet spongy and, like unbalanced that just pisses me off you can't melee them to death not really uh, they resurrect super easily they can kill you in one hit yeah I forget this isn't the one with the um, terminal is it also yeah god this fucking level looks ugly as hell in remaster it's like they didn't realize at all what the point of this fucking level is supposed to be it's almost embarrassing well, you guys seem like you're, you know, yeah, I'm just gonna go. Uh, that's a tough choice, actually. Yeah, fuck it. And you can hold so much shotgun ammo in Halo 1. Because what is this? One, two, 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 two. It's a lot. Sorry, my eyes are a bit... Fucked. A bunch of boxes fell on my head today. I don't know what this is, but it looks sci-fi as fuck. There are enemies behind me. Um, man, the fucking shotgun is so good in Halo 1. And it's so not good in Halo 2. Actually, tell a lie. The shotgun in Halo 2 is fine, it just has terrible range. Which I don't appreciate. Shotgun in Halo 1 not only has amazing range, well, for a video game shotgun at any rate, it doesn't have amazing range for an actual shotgun. That's a pet peeve of mine, is that shotguns in real life are not limited by range in the same way, like, they're not quite as limited by range as a lot of video games would lead you to believe. Like, you can totally hit someone at 25 meters and kill them with a shotgun shell, even buckshot. If you're using a slug, you should be able to kill someone at up to 100 meters, even though your accuracy is going to suffer a pretty substantial amount. That being said... Oh shit, I didn't even mean to grab that. Oh yeah, if I remember correctly, the fucking active camo doesn't actually work very well on the flood. Yeah, I think as soon as you engage once, they'll start fucking tracking you. Anyway. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. Shotguns in real life don't suck nearly as bad as video game shotguns. Which is unfortunate, because, like, I like shotguns. I used to use the shotguns fucking all the time in video games. But I feel like I'm almost disincentivized to use them in modern video games over something like almost universally reliable like an assault rifle or an SMG. And I'm not sure if that's intentional on the behalf of the video game developer or like what. But man, it's like every time I see a shotgun in a video game I'm always like, is this even worth picking up? In Halo 1, the answer is fuck yes. Almost always. It's got a fast reload, faster at fire. It does a pretty good amount of damage, even on higher difficulties. What the fuck? If I get killed through the floor, I'm gonna be more than a little pissed off. Uh, what was I doing? Hmm. Ah, shit. Yeah, that's an annoying thing. If you don't shoot off the limbs, they'll just get back up a few minutes later. Sometimes not even a few minutes. Wee. Yeah, I'm gonna go. You have fun with that. Something about the Needler is that the Needler doesn't actually blow or do any damage to you until the needles blow up. Which can take a fair minute. Fuck off. Correctly, this is not the way to go, but I will go this way anyway. Oh, well, fuck me then. Oh, wait, 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 I think I know. Shit. Oh my god, the flood is so fucking annoying. I mean, I'll take Halo 1 flood over fucking Halo 2 flood any day, but... With the exception of the pure combat, or the pure forms, I much prefer to be fighting the Halo 3 Flood, because they're the easiest by far, because they have an actually, like, segmented hitbox, so shooting them in the head will kill them. Although the head on the Flood form is the chest, because you have to shoot them in the actual infection form, not the, uh... Oh my god, get on the fucking box, dude. Yeah. I thought... Fucking... Come on, man. I thought this was the other room where you had to go up and then around through the second room on the side, but no. That door is just for when you fall off here. Which people usually will, at least once. Hello. Okay. I find it a bit interesting they don't know how to react when you're on the light bridge. That's kind of weird. Well, whatever. Yeah, where the fuck have you been? Uh, shit's fucked. Hey, what's up? Hey, Chips. Hey, Chips. 
I like the idea that Chips has gone toe to toe with the Flood and is just mildly disquieted by them. Also, one of the few times the humans will ever use shotguns in this entire fucking game. Possibly the only time. Now, this part's a bit difficult to do reliably, but you can keep all the marines alive to the end of the level. In the book, which is something that annoys the hell out of me, none of the marines survive, which I find extremely infuriating, given that they're actually fairly competent. But yeah, in the book they all die. Here, I guess it's implied that anyone you save gets picked up by Foe Hammer. Although, yeah, if that happens, they are dead. Which sucks. If the single infection form jumps on them, they die. Which I guess is true to real life. If Flood Infection Form were to touch you, you'd basically die instantly. But, you know, that's annoying as a gameplay mechanic. Like, if this were an escort quest, as it would be in, like, any other video game, it would be downright impossible, especially on harder difficulties. I do appreciate they fucking, like, move through the area almost on their own. They prefer if you're, like, in front of them, but they will still, uh, fucking... And they're all dead. Shit. Yeah, there's not really anything you can do once that happens, unfortunately. You notice that some of the Marines, like, shot each other as well, trying to fucking, uh... keep the uh, infection forms off each other. I wish it was like Halo 3, where you can shoot the infection forms specifically. Unfortunately, in Halo 1, as soon as it attaches to the other uh, character, it becomes part of their model and can no longer be killed. Also, look, this is Backwash, the map that's in Halo 2. Jesus Christ, guys. But yeah, you're supposed to hold out here for a certain period of time, and this is usually, if you saved any Marines, they die here. But, you know, that's fair. I guess. Greetings. But, come I am on, man. Monitor of installation zero four. I am 343 Guilty Spark. Hey, what's up? Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation. But I require your assistance. Come. Yeah, I way. bet. Because Bellhammer's still hanging around. 